Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and today I will show you how we can use uh, advanced form in Power Portal. Advanced form was previously called as web forms, right? Now using advanced forms, we can create this type of uh, tabbed structure uh, forms or you know, uh, multi-step application form for portals like you have seen here you can see here i have a tab here user information in the second we have loan information someone can use someone can give data here let's say and danish and i can give car here so i can give something data here now once i i have given this data when someone click next it will load the load the next step because this is nothing but an advanced form this is not a simple entity form that we use this is not a basic form we have also a basic form concept which only displays one single form but using advanced form we can load multiple um, multiple forms at a time uh, uh, different tabs at a time so that user will have a better experience by providing details data right now here you can also specify some dead uh, field information and all that so uh, the point here is we can create this tabbed structure of the form using advanced form concept in power portal so i have created this let us see how i have created this first we have to design the table right i have designed a table i have created a table called as loan application in the loan application i have uh, taken uh some custom fields okay i can sort it by custom so that you can see loan amount loan purpose which is a choice field and first name last name email i have just added okay now i have also taken customer as a lookup because i want to associate this customer uh, in this loan application record whenever someone creates a loan application record from power portal let's say someone is logged in i have logged in as a power portal so whenever i will create loan application form loan record then as uh, my record is exist in power portal contacts entity contacts table so that contact uh, record should be associated with this loan record that's why i have taken a customer uh, as a lookup so that i can filter the data at any time if you have a lookup uh, look, look of contact uh, entity for a specific uh, you know table then you can filter it so okay so once i have given that uh, i have taken that i have also created a form specific to my portal okay by default three forms are available main form card form quick view form but as i want to available uh, this lo loan application as a uh, portal form i have created a, a form here now let me go here and check the form how i have designed so i have designed the form uh, to have two tabs okay because i want to load one tab at a time okay so in the first tab i have taken user information where i have kept first name last name and name of the loan application email and in the second tab i have taken apply date loan amount and loan purpose so i want to show this tab in the first step as i have shown you here if you click on this you can see so this is the first tab user information here also it is user information and in the second tab it is loan in information if you go here you can see this is the loan information so you can keep adding multiple tabs if you want to display in multiple steps in power portal so once you have designed this power put uh, once you have designed this form for this entity you can click on publish now my entity design and form design is done now i can navigate to the advanced form section of the portal management app this is my portal management model driven app here i can design a advanced form i have created a new advanced form and, and in the new advanced form i have taken the name as loan ad form this is my name of the uh, advanced form I have chosen the uh, the website for which I want to install this uh, form. For my case, it is custom portal. You can choose your own website. And uh, this start step is the 
tab that you want to uh, th this start step is the step that will be initially display as active for me it is user information okay so uh, this uh, start step will not be available until unless you save this and create advanced form step but as i have already created some advanced form form steps so i again navigated to here and chosen this as a start step every advanced form must have a start step it's because you have multiple steps you want to show here this is one step this is two step like that so the advanced form should have uh, a option start step so that it will initially start the step here now this step is already declared here i will tell you in a short while next authenticated user authentication required required or not yes it should be authenticated that means uh, on anonymous users cannot use this form okay and there are other uh, other options also let me go to progress indicator this progress indicator is dis uh, displaying the actually this tab structure you can see here at the top if you choose here edge uh, if you want to see the progress then you can click on this title and you can select the position of this uh, structure tab structure and you can select prepend step number to the step title so if you want to display one and two as a step you can enable this otherwise you can uncheck this so that the number will not give give to you right so so once it is done the next thing is you have to go to advanced form steps once you save this you have to go to this step and you have to keep adding new advanced step form step this step will tell you that how many steps you want to display as i have displayed one and two two forms two form steps every advanced form contains multiple steps so you have to add it here how many steps you want to add here that will display as a tabbed structure here okay now i have added one uh, form here form step let me open this and show you the details so here i have given a name user information first you can see the name is user information right and uh, the advanced form is already chosen this is the parent for advanced form and in the type i have defined load tab you can also define load form you can use conditions also you can use redirect load user control so it depends on your business requirement that what type of the form step you want for my case i want to load the tabs is because i have multiple steps multiple tabs i want to load one tab at a time so i have chosen load tab and i have selected the entity here loan application once it is done i can go to the i can select the next step that means after this user information step what step you want to perform you have to choose but this step has to be created first before um, associating this right so now once you have created this uh, uh, advanced form step you have to go to form definition this is important what is the mode of your uh, form step whether it is insert or editing or read only like that for inserting means you are trying to create the record using this step then you have to choose the uh, form of that entity and you have to choose the which uh, tab you want to display i have already two tabs defined in the form so i have to choose user information this time so i have chosen this and this is important associate current portal user as i have already taken the uh, customer lookup here i want every time someone creates a loan application record from power portal the login user the power portal user should be associated with that record that's why you have to use this associate current portal user and you have to select the lookup control which stores the contact information right so otherwise it will not be associated right now once it is done my work is done and i can go back and add another uh, um, advanced form step this is my another advanced uh, step for loan information same i have chosen the table and in the form definition i have chosen the second tab loan information right now i can go here now once you have configured this you have to uh, put you have to use this form loan add form advanced form in power portal studio so go here in the power portal studio you can just drag simple list here 
okay and once you drag here you can go to the uh, source code and change this normally it is uh, it is displaying entity form but uh, as you want to display advanced form so change entity form to web form and inside that name pass your name of the advanced form this is the name i have given loan add form right here you can see it is loan add form so once i have chosen this i can click on sync configuration why sync configuration because whatever configuration you have done here that should be populated in power portal studio now you can click on browse as soon as you browse it will open the home page and it will display the form advanced form to me if i have logged in as i have already logged in in the power portal i can see that form i have already logged in logged in here you can see it is displaying here now i can specify my information here let's say rakesh sharma rakesh uh, shen uh, loan and i can put here rakesh and shen and the email id if you uh, keep it if you don't uh, uh, provide the mandatory field value then it will give you alert email is required once you click this it will uh, focus the email id then you can provide some uh, data here records are the red, let's say gmail.com now you can click on save next once you click next this uh, this tab information is saved by default if you go here you can check right so this record is created rakesh and loan right let me enable the custom columns so that we can check so for this uh, the uh, name is added and the customer lookup portal user is associated email is associated first name last name last name is associated now the loan amount loan and uh, loan purpose and apply date is not filled because this information is my second tab so i will i will apply here so loan apply is let's say today and loan amount and the loan purpose this is the choice field i can use car loan i can click on submit as soon as, as you submit it will update the record so i can go here and try to check again refresh data now see for this record the apply date is updated and other fields are also updated right so i can successfully used uh, advanced form to uh, create a loan application record using multiple steps right so it depends on your business also i will tell you how you can uh, manage this validations for example if uh, some validation is not there how to alert users to display custom validations in my next video thank you guys try on your own and learn something I will come with next video. Thank you.